Hey, hey, hi there. So Fernando Ribeiro here, and today I would like to bring some amazing news. Uh, so, as you guys were waiting for, Yuma Unity Multipurpose Avatar is finally available on Asset Store. Uh, it's available since uh, December 25, so it was our Christmas present for you guys. And I would like to show some screens. Uh, here we have uh, 16 random avatars generated. Here is an example of the serialization. And I've also included some 30 party project screens, uh, so you can have an um, idea of the Yuma potential. Uh, here are some armors that fit avatar shape really nice. And here you can see that content can also be customized. Uh, this, those 30 party content uh, will be sold separately uh, by their own content creators. Uh, here you see the, the atlas generated for this avatar. Uh, so Yuma uh, is under a lot of optimization. I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this project. Uh, Yuma can handle both uh, high quality, uh, high resolution textures for the avatars in case you have close-ups and at the same time it's flexible enough to handle hundreds of avatars in case you need to populate an entire scene. And you can even create different races like elves, orcs, werewolves, minotaurs, all of those will be possible with Yuma. So I will open Unity here and show the first steps. Okay, so the first thing I should say is that it's highly recommended that we create a new project for Yuma. Uh, especially if you're starting working with Yuma right now, if it's a new uh, framework for you, uh, you should create a new project. That's what I'm doing right now. So I'll start with a clean uh, scene. And uh, after uh, the creation, I'm going to open here the asset store. Uh, it will take a while here loading and here we go. Okay, so you can see Yuma right here. Uh, but in case it's not available on front page, you can type here Yuma and it will be the first result. Okay, Yuma. So the first thing I should explain uh, right now, Yuma is under the Complete Projects category, but on following weeks, uh, it will be available on its own category. So this way, it will be easier for content creators to provide content specifically for Yuma, and it will be easier to find them. Uh, so right here, uh, you can see that I can actually import uh, the projects here. Uh, in your case, it's probably going to be update or download. Uh, Yuma is already ha has already received some updates. Uh, in case you've done an update and you're getting any problem, I highly recommend you to re-download and import. This uh, is helping uh, people having this this problem. So while uh, this is under a complete project category, you have this, um, Yuma will overwrite your scene. So it's highly recommended having a, a clean project and starting from, from uh, scratch. So I'm going to click here and import the, the files. So make sure uh, to import everything. There is a lot of content, uh, both uh, textures, meshes, and scripts mainly. So uh, it's always good to be sure everything is being imported. It will take a while to import all the content, so I will just jump the video after the importing process. Okay, I've just imported all the content. You can see here the files. First of all, uh, we have here the Yuma manual. This is really important and I highly recommend everyone to read this first. And uh, here I'm going to open the example scenes so you uh, can actually test and see if everything is working for you. First, first of them, the crowd. 
Uh, the crowd uh, example scene is basically uh, for randomly generating avatars. So I'm just getting here the game uh, window. I'm going to turn off uh, the gizmos. And that's it. I will hit play here. And we will have uh, 16 uh, different and random avatars created, as you can see. Uh, so first thing uh, I'm going to explain here, uh, frame height. Uh, you can see here the frame height is quite low. This is mainly because this is not a very powerful machine and also I'm recording the video. You should expect way better performance on your uh, project and on your machines. So let me just get here the scene so I can show this. Uh, and I, I'm also going to uh, hide the Yuma tag here. And usually I don't like the 3D business. So in this example, we have completely random avatars, the colors, uh, the shapes, everything is complete, completely random. We can even have those crazy combinations of news and album years. Uh, this is happening on this scene. Uh, this is mainly to uh, show the, the, this kind of results. And here you can see the main Yuma game objects. Uh, we have those three main game objects and their uh, components. Uh, in fact, Yuma generator um, have uh, direct access to Yuma legacy mesh combiner or the Yuma default mesh combiner. Uh, I will be able to actually explain all of this later. Right now, I would like to focus on the basics and uh, the most uh, necessary information. So in Yuma crowd, uh, Umacrod is basically responsible to fill the scene with random authors. Uh, Uma customization. Uh, let me just hit play again to show you this. So with Uma customization, after avatar creation, it's possible to actually adjust the avatar shape in real time, as you can see here. And the example code provides something close to 40 uh, sliders. But uh, you're completely free uh, to create your own edges. Um, of course, those sliders are just an example. And even after all those changes, animation still works, as you, you can see. Uh, this is simply using the movement keys. And all of this is uh, Yuma customization responsibility. I mean, the, the changes for the shape. The same would be possible to apply for the uh, cloth changes and adjusting the colors. All of this uh, can also be possible using the Yuma framework. So now uh, I would like to show Yuma generator. This is basically responsible for creating the avatars. And uh, first uh, use probe. This is the checkbox I would like to explain. So Yuma uh, benefits from the Pro license and uses the very powerful features like uh, render texture to accelerate the after creation uh, steps. If you're using the free license, uh, you get the same results, the same final afters, but it will take longer to generate the afters. And uh, I will be able to explain in the following videos how to optimize and reduce creation time for indie users also. And here we have the Yuma crowd. It's responsible for uh, creating the random avatars. Here I can adjust how many avatars will be created. Um, so if I hit play, I expect four of them here. Uh, I can, the avatars are usually uh, organized here inside the Yuma crowd. I can select and delete them. And when I click on generate Yuma, I have a single avatar created. And with right click, I can select it and adjust the body shape and everything. 
And now one thing really important that you need to keep in mind, especially if you're using the free license, is lighting. Uh, as you can see here the, in the light group, I have three directional lights, but two of them are uh, not enabled. This is because those were used to bake uh, lighting uh, information to the light probes I have on scene. But uh, in case you're using the free license, you won't be able to use light probes. So the result you might get is something to closer to what I'm going to show here without the light probes. So it's, uh, it's going to be uh, darker. And in this case, to handle that, you will probably have to adjust the intensity of the directional light. Uh, here I'm just going to turn off the light probe from the ground. Uh, so you might even consider including or enabling um, extra lights. Uh, here you can see how you can get different results. But also keep in mind, uh, extra lights generate extra draw calls, so we have a performance hit. And in this, you have always to balance between the final performance and the final visual results you get. So uh, to keep videos small, I will just finish this one here. And uh, on the following days, I will be able to record more videos on my free time. And then I will help you guys generating new content for your projects or to sell on Asset Store. Uh, explain about the scripts and how uh, each of them work and how you can improve them. So that's it for now guys. Uh, see ya, goodbye, see ya.